Hi, my name is Matt Cutts, and I work in Google Search Quality Group. Today, I'm going to tell you a bit about how Google Social Search works. Google Social Search is a new experiment to help you find publicly available web content from your social circle quickly and more easily in Google Search. First, let me give you some context. Today on the internet, people have many different places where they make social connections and publish web content, like blogs, status updates, tweets, and pictures. People choose to publish much of this content publicly for everyone to see. For example, I have a Twitter account where I follow more than 100 people. Anyone browsing on the web today can visit my Twitter page and see the tweets I've been writing. Anyone can also see the list of people I'm following on Twitter. I also write a public blog and have a friend feed account. These various online social services create an implicit network of connections, which we like to call your social circle. For example, I'm following Leo Laporte on Twitter, and on FriendFeed, I follow Danny Sullivan. There's also an extended social circle, which is the set of people that Leo and Danny follow. With Google Social Search, we've managed to pull different pieces of your public social circle together in a single place. Now that you know the basic terminology, how does Google know your social circle? Let me give you a mental model of how our social search works. Right now, we surface social content that we find in three different ways. The first way, and the biggest in my mind, is your public Google profile. A Google profile is just a place where you can choose to share information about yourself with the world, including a list of your different online social services. For example, you can add a link to your Twitter account, your friend feed account, your blog, or your Picasa albums. Bear in mind, it's your choice whether or not to create a Google profile, and you can always add or remove any information from it. Once you've created a Google profile and added links to your various online social services, you've signaled a very clear choice that you're comfortable with the world knowing that information, including that you're a part of the other social networks you list there. Based on this opt-in decision, Google can start building a broader social graph. For example, take the link to my public Twitter account. Google can fetch my Twitter page, just like any web surfer, and see that I'm following about 180 people. Google will add these 180 people to my social circle. We also crawl one step further to build out your extended network. For example, if I'm following my best friend, and he's following five different people, Google will add those five people to my extended social circle, since it's likely that some of them will be connections of mine as well. The second way for us to add to your social circle is from your Google Chat Buddies. If you have eight chat buddies, we'll add those eight people to your social graph. It's important to note that we don't publish your list of chat buddies. We just add them to your social circle so we can show you their public information. The third way we surface content from your social circle is through Google Reader. For example, if you subscribe to a blog in Google Reader, then we can surface a post from that blog in your social search results. Once Google builds your social circle, things are pretty simple after that. We take our regular web index data and annotate it with social information. When our algorithms determine that it would improve your search experience, we surface public content from your social circle at the bottom of the search results. The last thing you need to know is that you have control. If you're not signed into Google, you won't see all the social search goodness. It's important to know that you always have control over both your connections and your content. As a user, you can always add or delete links on your Google profile, just like you can defriend someone on a social networking site. You can also add or block your Google chat contacts, so you won't receive social search results from them. And as a content creator, you can choose what content to make public and which public content to be associated with your Google profile. We hope this helps you understand how Google builds your social circle and then finds useful public information from your network of contacts to show in search results. The main thing to remember is that Google Social Search makes your results more relevant.